coffee time. Jesse grabbed me coffee. Heck yeah. He went to go run an errand and he was like, hey, do you want me to grab you coffee? And I was like, yes. He and I have spent quite a decent amount of time together uh, recording stuff, which has been great. If you follow us on Twitter, you probably saw a link to a Dropbox sound file um, that was lovely. Also, my fingers from this morning say Dodger exclamation point exclamation point. If you want to know why that is, you'll have to watch Friend Zone. <laughs> it's very, very silly, but it's in like sparkly eyeliner, so I'm kind of into that. <laughs> oh, so dumb. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. I've been playing a lot of ARC. Like, a lot of it, guys. I'm a crazy dodo lady, and it's awesome. So, basically, I wanted to figure out how to be a crazy cat lady in the game, except with something else. And kind of the, the pigeons of Ark are called dodos, and so I've been kind of collecting dodos, and it's great. So I've got a little dodo farm, and I've got some brontos that are just chilling, like, watching over it. Um, it's been good. It's been real good. Uh, I have yet to, to like need to interact with somebody. This is an RP server, by the way. So the server that we're playing on, like you come up with an identity. If you run into people, like you stay in character, you interact with them in character, right? So I'm trying, like I want it to escalate because according to the Dino Police, there's another group on the RP server called the Dino Police. According to the Dino Police, I'm not supposed to be owning dodos, but I'm going to call it a dodo reserve, right? Claim that I have all of my paperwork in order, which I do, obviously, and uh, and say that, you know, I've, I've been trying to make sure that they uh, don't get poached, right? Yeah. And in the meantime, I can just set up booby traps all over the place. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be probably the best use of my time. Maybe ever. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday we did the podcasts and it all went really well. Mongapod, Mongapod, there was supposed to be five of us and there were only three because Aaron had to be on a shoot and Yoku was feeling sick. So we were talking about prison school, which I was so, like all of us were so excited to talk about it. And then it turned out that two of us couldn't be there and we were like, dang it. So we had a special guest, Alex, and then Lou and I, and the three of us talked about prison school. We all gave it very high ratings, so it comes with a maturity warning for sure, like big time maturity warning. But um, if if you're interested in prison school, the manga at least we, we gave a very high score to. Although the anime is really good so far too. It still makes me like just uh, wanna die, but it's really good. I've been keeping up with it and we pretty much read the amount of the manga that we read was identical to where the anime's at, so that's kind of convenient. Um, but other than that, what have I been doing? I mean, I, I started playing Ark for the first time, and now I hate myself. <laughs> started playing Ark for the first time, and... What else? I'm snugging my cats. I'm going to be seeing uh, Angie Viper this weekend. Angie and Aaron and I are going to have a girls' night, and that's going to be awesome. Um, we've got the Chrono Trigger uh, live stream coming up this weekend. So excited, because Chrono Trigger is like my favorite game ever, and this is the 20th anniversary, so we're going to be doing a, a big live stream on Saturday. Um, just playing through it, and I feel like the biggest conversation that needs to happen before we go into that is going to be which ending are we going for, right? I'm assuming that the ending we're going to try to go for is going to be the one that incorporates the most, like that requires the most amount of like completion. But apparently, Gerard has never played Chrono Trigger. What? Right? Like, how? How has Gerard never played Chrono Trigger? That absolutely blows my mind. So. He's going to be playing it for the first time. Um, I'm going to be playing it for like the 20 something time. I don't know how many times Jesse has played it, but I've definitely, I haven't played it in maybe like three years. I think I played it through the year before I got, or the year that I got here, the year that I moved to LA. Um, 
but I don't think that I'm going to be very useful because as you guys probably know, if you've been watching me for a while, you probably know I have one of those brains that doesn't entirely like hold on to information, right? I'm not a sponge. I'm, I'm more, I'm more like cheesecloth. <laughs> Well, most of the stuff stays in there, but then, like, the finer details just leak through quite easily. So, uh, yeah, I feel like if, if they if they try to have me be any form of authority, I'll be like, I think we go here. No, never mind. No, we don't. No, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I love Chrono Trigger so much. I'm so excited for us to play it. Oh, it's gonna be amazing and I don't know who else is showing up I assume some of Warp Zone is gonna be there but Warp Zone also oh that's right this weekend Warp Zone had their uh, 1 million subscriber party and that was super awesome they had beer pong tables all over the place I haven't played beer pong in years so excited um, they had a big like a la our Sam going away party they had a big projector that had Smash up on the wall, and then people were just, like, sitting around playing Smash. Um, yeah. It was good. It was good stuff. It was uh, in kind of a sketchy area, too. Like, the guy, I, I took an Uber there because I knew I was going to want to have a couple of drinks. And I was like, well, I'll Uber there. That way, you know, I'm being safe. And my Uber driver brought me to the address I was supposed to be at, and we didn't see anybody like heard nothing saw nothing and I was like is this right and he was like this is the address you gave me and I was like looking at all my stuff and it was correct but it didn't look like anything was going on there and my driver was so sweet he was like I really can you like call a friend because this is a really dangerous area and I want to make sure that you go where you're supposed to be and like be with your friends and I was like okay thank you so he was like don't worry I'm not gonna like kick you out like as long as it takes for you to figure out you know what's going on and where you're supposed to be just like take your time get a hold of some people and I was like okay so fortunately Gerard answered and he was like are you here like the second that he answered he was like are you here I'll come get you and I was like oh is it kind of hard to find because it looks like nothing is going on here and he goes yeah pretty much everybody's had that problem I'll come get you and it turned out that it was around to the back of this huge building so we were in the front of the building and there was just nothing and then all the way around to the back of the building was where the the, the parte was happening so found it thank goodness Gerard answered his phone because otherwise I probably would have been like you know what just take me home because it was like it was like a real sketchy looking area like really really dark as well because it was you know mm, 10 or 10 o'clock probably yeah so <laughs> I was like please don't abandon me please don't abandon me here and fortunately he was just like no 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 figure figure your stuff out I'm not going anywhere <laughs> thank you um, he was he was an older guy so uh, yeah, so that party was super fun, and I think I'm going to be getting ramen tonight, <laughs> because I'm the worst. I think I'm going to be getting ramen tonight, I'm very, very, very excited about it, uh, because it's my friend David's birthday today, so I texted him, and I was like, hey! Uh, are you doing like drinks or dinner or anything like that? Like, let me know if you have anything planned. I would love to make it out and see you for your birthday. And he was like, cool, okay. And uh, he texted me and, and was like, hey, so you want to grab ramen? <laughs> it's like, you know me. Yes, yes, yes. So I think I'm going to be grabbing ramen as soon as Jesse responds to me. Jesse's filming over there. I've been filming in here. We, uh, we filmed for a while together and then we parted ways with, I think, the intention of, of coming back together to film a little bit more, but um, if he's cool with it, I'm probably going to head out and go hang with, hang with David because I haven't seen him in so long. It's been forever. He's my friend that I wanted to do friendship porn with. That was where we were going to, like, one of us would, would draw one, one body and then the other one would draw the other body, and we would see what sort of pornography we could make. <laughs> that was the plan. That was how we wanted it to go. Um, 
and we still have yet to do it, one day, one day friendship porn will happen, and that'll be how we hone our skills <laughs> as, as terrible artists. It's gonna be great. Do you guys ever... Sometimes I feel like I have to... Every now and then, it feels like my, my throat here almost gets, like, out of whack. This is gonna sound so weird. Every now and then it feels like my, my, like, uh, my trachea, I guess, like, like, gets clicked to the side. Like, it, and it hurts really bad in one specific spot, and I have to, like, push a couple, this sounds so gross, I have to, like, push a couple fingers in there and, like, straighten it out, almost. I don't know what it is. It happens, it doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, it's like, ow, 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 ow. Like, I have to, like, get in there and, like, adjust it. Strange. Strange stuff. And that's where we'll end it. <laughs> but I hope you guys have had a fantastic day and a fantastic week. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.